Hey guys, picked up this Sony Trinitron KV1442AS. Uh, it was an Australian model from 1986. I've got another one inside. Um, I like these little sets. I think they they look cool. Um, and yeah, the fact that it has SCART is, um, I would say, pretty uncommon, uh, especially for Sony sets. I think there's there might be some other models that have them. Uh, definitely the Profeel uh, models probably have them. Um, I got this one on eBay for about $130. Uh, it was shipped up to me from uh, somewhere down south, New South Wales, I believe. Um, and yeah, it was listed with with a fault. The fault is uh, described as the uh, the channel like indicator up there is like it's visible, but it's got a wavy picture uh, and. The other issue was, oh, apparently it's making some loud noise. Um, so I'm not sure that I'll actually turn it on um, knowing those symptoms because I don't want to do any further damage uh, to it by running it in a state where it may have uh, faults with the power supply, etc. So um, what I'm going to do is take it apart and have a look at it. Um, the symptoms that were described uh, by the seller are actually very similar to uh, the symptoms that were... Um, affecting my uh, my main set um, so it's possible it's got the same problem uh, which was a excuse me an issue with the power supply so um, yeah I'll take it apart and we'll have a look at it got the set open yeah get a load of this <laughs> absolutely disgusting um, in fairness to the seller they did uh, they did say that inside was gross and so I was expecting something pretty grubby but uh not quite as bad as this but yeah um i think it'll probably still be okay uh i'm not sure what i'll do i'll probably have to like just take the board out and try and clean it i think it's it might have come from a place uh like the former owner may have uh, been a smoker because it's sort of got that um nicotine glaze as as shango would say uh, it's kind of got that, you know, sticky, uh, sort of humid yuckiness about it when you touch the um, uh, the dust. It doesn't come off easy, so I'm not sure that I'll be able to clean it up with just an air compressor or anything. It's it's probably going to have to be, uh, I don't know if I'll put it in the ultrasonic cleaner or probably just try clean it up as best I can with a paintbrush. Anyway. Uh, I'm gonna have to work on that before I before I troubleshoot. Yep. Hey guys, so I took the power supply board out. Um, it's a little board that hangs on the left side um, uh, when you're looking at it from the rear. Uh, so you, yeah, this is basically the same problem as what happened um, with my other set. Uh, I believe it was even the same capacitor. Uh, so there's some small value caps on. The other side I'll show you in a minute but um, this one here if we test this the ESR meter so yeah 30 ESR is way too high um, it should be I think about no more than one um, for this uh, capacitor value and then I think this one here let's try and do this with chopstick mode here oops there we go no, no, that's not it. Yeah, so 13 ESR, and I think that's a 22 microfarad cap, and that should be well below 13 ESR. So these two caps are roached. Um, there's possibly other ones um, on here, but I'll just I'll probably end up recapping the whole thing um, outside of the big filters. So the ones I was testing just then was this one here, uh, which is a four. It's supposed to be 4.7 microfarad at 100 volts, and that one in there, which is. Uh, 22 microfarad, yeah, as I said. So all these little ones, I believe there's a little Elna uh, yellow one just just there. That one's also bad. Um, but yeah, probably all these small ones I'm just going to end up replacing. And I would recommend you do the same if, you've, if you're working on this set. Because yeah, like I said, both times I've had this TV, um, they've had this same problem in the same section. So cool. 
Sorry for the fan noise in that last section, guys. So I finished um, I finished working on uh, the uh, the Sony. So I've just I've done the recap of the um, power supply. Uh, can't really see it there, but <clears throat> replaced um, all the small value caps. You can see uh, that's an automotive Nichicon cap there, and some uh, Worth brand uh, capacitors. Just yeah, I would recommend use 105 degree Celsius rated. Um, caps in that area because it does get pretty warm uh, but yeah the um, the actual main board cleaned up pretty well I it's not perfect um, but I I'm happy enough with it it's this this TV is just probably going to serve uh, duty in the workshop here um, I've got a bunch of other CRTs I'll probably get rid of those little ones on the end there and just keep this Sony uh, uh, I have hooked it up already to um, RGB Pi uh and it looks good um i'm happy with the picture i'll uh i might i'll put it back together and i'll flip it around and i'll show you how it looks uh the refresh rate will probably make it look pretty silly but um yeah i'll have a look at that so there it is uh switched on it's uh looking pretty good i would say uh no issues with uh wavy picture or anything like that uh it's just hooked up to uh rgb pi little scar thing um, yeah the only the only real issue that I can see that I might want to fix up later is on the power supply board um, there's a little transformer on there it's kind of uh, it's hard to see but it um, it's next to that big capacitor um, I'm not going to point to it but it's kind of stuff it I'm going to point to it hang on It is, oh, it's actually making a noise right now, but it's the black, um, it's kind of just there. It looks a bit like a um, flyback transformer itself. It's kind of making a noise at the moment, but I think the issue with that is it's got like a, um, it's got a core. Uh, like a sort of a u-shaped core that goes around it and um, it's got a crack in it so I think I need to epoxy that uh, back together because it's vibrating um, and sort of making a ticking sound so that's really the only problem uh, the rest of the set just seems to work fine it looks nice and bright um, yeah looks awesome oh grab the remote Um, let's try and load up 240p test suite. And call bars. Yeah, refresh rate might might make it look a bit uh, a bit bad, but. Yeah, obviously it doesn't look like that in person. Uh, how do we go back? Scroll test. Yeah, really awesome picture on these um, on these early SCART sets. Uh, so this was yeah 1986. For some reason in Australia they just kind of um, they they sort of stopped um selling scart sets here i suppose uh composite was enough for people uh in australia and they yeah they just weren't weren't really common um not like in in the uk and and other parts of europe where scart was kind of everywhere rgb scart was everywhere so there's definitely rgb sets um in australia as well they just yeah once composite sort of took hold um, probably the manufacturers realised they didn't have to spend as much money um, producing a chassis with uh, RGB capability. Um, composite was enough. So, yeah. Anyway, um, it's working. It's working well. And um, yeah, that's that's it really. Thanks, guys.